have been created by God, you see. Everybody believes in God. So God is very great, created different kind of people, just to know each other, to learn from each other, to live uh, and to love each other, uh, to live in, in peace and harmony. This is what we believe. This is our martial arts philosophy. Ah. I'm Antonio Grisepo, Martial Arts Odyssey. Today we are in Selangor that is just outside of Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, and we're learning about Sila. Earlier we met Grandmaster Masalan. Now this is Grandmaster Masalan's oldest son, and he is also a master in... Master Norasa. Norasa. Master Norasa, and he is the chief instructor. Yeah. 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 <laughs> to have a peaceful mind, you want to live in happy, uh, you must think that whatever you do, deep in your heart, not because of other things, but because of God. No, I, I, I started learning for seven years old and until now. Wow, seven years old he started learning and you're how old? Are you? I'm 37. 37. Yeah. 30 years he's been practicing and his father is the teacher. Is he a hard teacher? Yeah. Your father's a hard <laughs> teacher? <laughs> and I heard some good things about you. I heard that you uh, keep peace in yeah. the neighborhood. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. And I heard you can beat up a whole <laughs> the bad people come, you beat up all the bad people. Yeah. It's true? Well, I think we're we're helping people. Yeah. Okay, so they have a little bit of a uh, gang problem sometimes, and he comes and he helps uh, protect the people, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. My name is Dr. Zahlan Bin Man, a grandmaster. This martial art originally was from Arab country. Old days ago, they call it as a uh, Christian. And it's been called by the name of uh, Silat Kalam. This Silat Kalam is a lot of uh, defensive movement. We very seldom attack. We use uh, uh, to defend ourselves. And this is what uh, uh, human being uh, martial arts defend. This is what we call uh, Silat Kalam. In the year of uh, 11.30, the Arabics from Persia, they came here to, to teach religion and to teach uh, how to become a good human being. Then the Sultan, the king, for that time, uh, learned this Mashaat. And until now, uh, we have uh, our generation of uh, teachers uh, how to uh, to teach this martial art to all mankind uh, is is what we did is uh, for the peace for the peace. Yesterday, you told me some very nice things about using martial art for peace, and that it's, it's not just about fighting. Mm -hmm. And you talked a lot about being a good person. So I wonder if you could tell me more about that. We have been created by God. You see, everybody believes in God. So God is very great, created different kind of human being, just to know each other, to learn from each other, to live uh, and to love each other, uh, to live in, in peace and harmony. This is what we believe. This is our martial arts philosophy. So with that, you see, we get along with uh, everybody, just to, to learn. Maybe you have uh, more uh, things which I have to learn from you, and maybe I have my thing that you have to learn from me, is it? Which, which means to say exchange knowledge. Okay? It's nice to be a, a person who really want to know more about uh, human being knowledge. Okay? So, with this, God created human being and God gives a life to human being. Okay? For example, without the breathing, yeah? 
without breathing. Yes. Without breathing, we we cannot we cannot even live. You see? This breathing, God give. If the God want to trust, any one breathing, single cent, one cent, and I think we can't afford to pay for 24 hours. We pay one cent every time we breathe. Every time we breathe, one cent. You see, so how much we have to pay? <laughs> but if we go in the tank and ask us to carry, uh, we should carry anywhere we go. We will never leave out the tank because we need the breeze. <laughs> okay. So with that, see, we become we become a human being that we have owned something from God. See? God give freely to us. Okay. We have parent. If parent give something to us. We have to say thank you to our parents because give a present to us. We show our, our full hearted, we say thank you very much. No? And we love our parents deep in, inside our heart, wish our heart. You see? So now God gives something is very, very important to us. Okay? What, what did we say to God? We should say thank you to God. You see? But of course, when we say thank you to God, the God will reply to us. Oh, my, my, this this person is saying thank you to me. Of course, the God will reply, say, okay, I will say thank you also. The God will say thank you. When the God says thank you, he gives something. He gives more than that. Eh? Uh, so, what uh, our belief, <coughs> our breathing exercise, is what we did, we practice in early morning, we practice at any time, you see, but of course, we started from early morning. <coughs> when we wake up from the sleep, we fill our breath, and we say, thank you, God. Just only one word, say, thank you, God. Maybe we don't know. We never see God. But of course, the God will say, oh, this person, thank you to, to me. So, with that, we have our connection with God. So, because of God, we are here. Because of God, we can eat. Because of God, we can see. Because of God, we can hear. Because of God, we are living in a very beautiful world. That's why we need peace among us. Because we need peace to follow our living in a good manner huh? and love each other you see? so that's what I believe and the God want that also the God want don't quarrel, don't fight be good among you helping each other that's what God want see? so it's a beautiful thing <laughs> see? Uh, so that's why I am as a teacher I always uh, tell my student to remind them but please don't quarrel among you if you quarrel among yourself, you see, how can you want to become good to other people? Get united among you first. <laughs> In the heart, we must have something but altruistic. Altruistic is very important. Okay? What is the meaning of altruistic? Altruistic means whatever you say, you are sincere, you do it because, because of what? If you do it because of money, you see, you will never... Uh, you never satisfied with the money, whatever, how much you get, huh? you you be always quarrel about the money. You are greedy because of this, of money. Uh, woman, you will be quarrel, fighting because of the woman. Because of uh, a man, you will be quarrel and fighting. Because of status, you want to show, and you also quarrel. But when you if you deep inside your heart, you become a person who altruistic, you said, whatever it is because of God. Of course, you cannot run away. Because from God we come, to God we are going there. One, two, one, two, three, four.